Huawei transformer architecture does not have vanishing gradients problem as opposed to recurrent neural network or RNN. The simple answer is that in the transformer architecture at every layer, you still have access to all the input tokens, which is in stark contrast to any RNN where each token is processed one by one. Let's look at few more points. In the transformer, due to the self-attention mechanism, every token in a sequence has the potential to directly attend to every other token, irrespective of their relative position. This means that the information flow between distinct tokens is not constrained by the sequential processing nature seen in RNN. So RNNs, that is recurrent neural network, inherently process sequences in a step-by-step -step manner. This means that to rely to relay information from an early token to a later position, the information must be propagated through every intermediate step. This can potentially lead to vanishing or even exploding gradient, especially for long sequences, as a gradient signal might diminish or explode as it's backpropagated through the time. Now, the direct connection between all tokens in the transformer ensures that there is no need to go through potentially many intermediate steps as with RNN for the gradient to flow from one token's position to another. This architecture design allows for more direct gradient pathways during backpropagation. Additionally, residual connections in transformers further alleviate the vanishing gradient problem. These connections ensure that the gradient can flow unimpeded through the network, bypassing certain layers if necessary. It's also important to note that the normalization techniques like layered normalization employed in transformer models further stabilizes the training process. Stable activations reduce the risk of gradients becoming too small or too large. Does sliding window attention in transformer network have vanishing gradient problems? To answer simply, sliding window attention in transformers is designed to mitigate the vanishing gradient problem by constraining the scope of attention within each window. This approach limits the paths through which gradients must propagate, reducing the likelihood of vanishing gradients compared to full sequence attention mechanism. Now, sliding window attention is a mechanism designed to improve the efficiency of transformer models, particularly when dealing with long sequences. By restricting attention to a fixed size window around each position, it reduces the quadratic computational complexity associated with standard self-attention. The vanishing gradient problem is Difficulty that arises during training of deep neural networks, it refers to gradients becoming too small for earlier layers during propagation, that is back propagation, leading to insufficient learning. The consequence is that weights in the early layers of the network barely change, making it difficult to or impossible for model to learn from its input data and thereby the weights update mechanism breaks down. Now let's uh, quickly think about if sliding window attention has the vanishing gradient problem. So the use of sliding window attention by itself does not inherently introduce the vanishing gradient problem. The primary purpose of SWA, that is uh, sliding window attention, is to reduce computational complexity. However, the depth of the network and the activation functions used are the primary factors influencing the vanishing gradient problem. Transformers, due to their architecture, are generally less prone to vanishing gradient problem compared to traditional deep uh, RNN, that is a recurrent neural networks, or LSTM, that is long and short term uh, network. And this is mainly because transformers use multi-head attention and skip connections, that is residual connections. And these connections allow gradients to flow more freely through the network. 